Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Scott, Shannon, and Ellie, and today... We are packing a shoebox for Operation Christmas Child. If you don't know what Operation Christmas Child is, stay tuned. We're going to tell you all about it coming up next. All right, so what are we doing today, anyway? Today we are shopping for toys to pack in a shoe box um, mm -hmm. for Operation Christmas Child. So we're gonna get um, a bunch of little toys, school supplies and things like that in a shoe box. We're gonna wrap it up and we're going to um, drop it off and it's gonna get shipped to a child um, somewhere in the world, we don't know where exactly, but um, a child that wouldn't have anything for Christmas. Yeah. So we chose, actually Ellie chose um, that we wanted to fill a basket or fill a box for a little girl her age. So we're going to shop for a two-year-old girl mm -hmm. and we need one like wow item it said and Ellie said she wanted to put a dolly in and then we need just um, like other little toys and art supplies. See, when I think wow I uh, item, I think like Nintendo Switch. Well, okay. But not for a two-year-old. For all we know, they may not have electricity where this is going. Okay, good point, so, good point. So, um, yeah, so then we just get a bunch of little toys and things to fill it up. I've said, like, hygiene items, um, so, like, toothbrushes and things like that. So, we're going to see what we can find. All right, let's do it. So, right now, we're at Five Below, and, uh, of course, the joy of bringing a two-year-old to shop for another two-year-old is I think Ellie wants all the stuff for herself first. Yeah. Yeah. I, there's a lot I want for myself. This is a pretty cool store. I know. All right, let's go take a look around, see what we can find. Okay. Yeah. So we really haven't made it that far because Shannon found this really awesome, like, toy instruments kiosk and with a lot of ukuleles. This is this is something that Shannon actually wants for Christmas this year. I have no idea how to play it. Is a ukulele? Well, I'm going to learn. Is, is this about the level ukulele you want, a $5 ukulele? It's probably about the level I deserve. <laughs> Ellie's got a more mature looking one over here. Yeah. What else have we got? It's still plastic. <laughs> Unfortunately, not a lot of this stuff will fit in a shoebox. No. So I no. think. All right, I need to ask you a question, Ellie. Which color do you like the best? Which one do you think you like the best? This one has green with different colors on it. This one's got like a bluish teal with some little flower designs. And that one looks like, like a wood guitar. Which one's your favorite? That one? Really? No, we're not going to get it today. I have to admit, I actually think that these would be pretty cool for like your office. Desktop, yeah. Yeah, desktop drums. Actually, I would like them for the studio. Of course, not like I'd be doing a lot of recording with these ones, but it would still be fun. Okay, for the record, Five Below did not pay me to say this. But I'm pretty sure this is my new favorite store. That is pretty cool. This is awesome. Have you, you know, ever been in here? Like, okay, one time I like I went over to like the front part of the door to look at like some beach balls, and that was it. So like I thought it was like a beach store basically. No, it's like, I had no idea that this place was so cool. What's the matter? This is one of those kinds of places that has like stuff you didn't know that you wanted, but but now you want it and you can own it all for five dollars or less. You see, this shows that you get what you pay for, because when you upgrade from the dollar store to the five dollar store... There's a lot more. There's I mean, a lot it's more. Still kinda, it's not the best quality. So. Shh, don't tell people that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I've lost Shannon and Ellie in this store. Like, they are... Uh, we were looking for stuff for Operation Christmas Child, and right now they are kind of just getting distracted with cool stuff. For, uh, for themselves. So now I've gone on the mission to find stuff for a two-year-old girl, which I have a lot of experience doing these days. And I have to admit, ooh, Shopkins, there we go, Shopkins, that's a big one, right? Let's do Shopkins. Okay, so instead of Shopkins, I got a surprisable, surprisable. Yes, anyway, I think Ellie would love this, so I'm gonna go with the other little girl, Will, too. There's a little stuffed creature in here, and uh, kids love surprises, right? Okay, Ellie, we're gonna, we have some Play-Doh for this little girl, so we're gonna give her some Play-Doh. And then while I was getting that surprisable, um, Ellie picked out some crayons, too. Mm -hmm. This was a good choice. So we've got some crayons and some Play-Doh and that little surprise animal. 
For some reason, I can't bring myself to keep trying to say surprisable. Surprise. It's not surprisable. It's surprise animal. Surprise animal. Surprise animal. I don't know. Sounds awful. It it does. It's a surprise animal and a little thing. It sounds painful. That sounds painful. Yeah. Why does it sound painful? Like, oh man, I got a bad surprise animal. Cause I guess. Like I need to go to the doctor and get a surprise animal. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right, now what do we got? Stickers. Stickers. That's a good choice. Puff stickers. 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 Look at the size of this tennis ball. So Five Below has some really funny and pretty awesome t-shirts for five bucks. I'm actually gonna buy this one for myself today. Leave this to the professional. Pretty awesome shirt. There's a few of them I really enjoy. Like, oh, what was that one I just saw? This one. This guy pooped today. So anyway, I know, I find some of these shirts amusing. Not all of them would I wear, but maybe some good Facebook memes. Hey Ellie, do you like this store? Yes. You do? I wonder if we can find babies. You wanna know if we can find babies? Yeah. Let's go see if we can find some. We'll see if we can find some. This is a decorative pillow. Do you consider this a decorative pillow? Yes, it's a decorative this pillow. This reminds me of what the floor looks like after you're done, like, brushing Ava. <laughs> yeah. I smell it. Hang on. Oh, you're there is again. something, guys, about the smell of bubble gum that makes me feel like I'm five again. <laughs> bubble yum, bubble we're gonna gum. sniff all of them while we're in line. Okay, so Shannon's gonna put that bag of goodies in the car, and now we're gonna walk down to the other end of the plaza to the dollar store. What are you excited about? We're gonna craft. Craft, okay, yeah. so we yeah. were here to get odds and ends for Operation Christmas Child. Well, that's what you were here for. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. here. Shannon has found this. I found these and we, we might make a little garland or something with them. Cool. Yeah. I think Ellie's actually pretty excited about it too. pom poms, and I have some ideas for those. And, no, I just thought we could make some Christmas We should do like some crafty videos. Okay, fuck. Like toddler crafts? Sure. Oh, some little ribbons. Why don't we get these ones? Could you get more? And we could do something with those. What do you think? These ones? Yeah. Because we already got some bells. Hmm. Watch out. Watch out. Ellie, what did you find? That's for a little girl. That's for the little girl? Yeah. What is it? This is, is it, okay. This is, like a, is it a pink yo-yo? Yeah. That's okay. All right. So when Iron Man needs help, he calls in Captain America. And when Captain America needs help, he calls in John Cena. And when John Cena needs help, he calls in Jesus. All right, listen to how noisy Shannon's card is. Go ahead. Just grab the first one. Uh-huh, it's not gonna do it now. Oh, it's been so noisy this whole time, and it figures now I wanna put it on exhibition and it's quiet. All right, so we picked up a few odds and ends, right? There we go, at the Dollar Tree. And I think we've actually started like packing this box out. Yeah. Like we may be running out of room. So I feel like there's a couple things we got we might have to like take out of the package because everything that's in the package might not fit. Yeah, yeah, so we got some rearranging to do. But the next thing we have to do is we have to get a baby doll. Yeah, so we're going to Walmart for that. We're gonna pick that up and Ellie's gonna help us pick a baby doll out. This crazy kid right here. <laughs> you... She needs new batteries. Okay, Ellie, which one do you think this little girl would like? We're in the baby aisle at Walmart and there's a lot of options. What about this one? We could do one like this. Or we could do one like this with a, that comes with a couple toys. What do you think? We can do that one for her. That one for her? Mm -hmm. That one looks a lot like your baby. That looks a lot like my baby. Oops. 
Do you think that would be a good one for her? By the way, are you getting chocolate donut hands all over the baby? No, I need it. Okay. This one has a duck on it. I know. What? Well, there's also these ones here that have the little pacifier and the little bib. Do you like those ones better? So, do these ones come with clothes? Can you get clothes for them? No. They do have these little, wow. like a diaper set or a feeding set. Mm-hmm. Somebody stuck those babies. That might be fun. Mm -hmm. Somebody stuck those babies. The thing is, we're running out of room on this shoebox, so I don't know yeah. if we could actually fit like well, a big play pack in there. Like that. I don't. Well, it is, look we'd have to take mommy. it apart. Yeah. Look yeah. At I know. There's a lot of little babies, huh? Um. Uh, yeah. I don't think they have any other Why like clothes. Why take their foot out? What are you? Stick their foot out. One is sticking their foot out. Yeah. One Where? Is sticking their foot out. Where? Yeah. She might say that. But Show me. Said, How do you like it? Here. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, look. One's got her foot Ugly. and her hand stuck out. Cool. Silly. All right. So this is the baby we're gonna get her. One you wanna get? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We'll get her that one. Okay, so we found something that Shannon just wants to try, and we're not going to do it on this video, but on the next video, we're going to do a taste test video with the weirdest looking chip flavor I've ever seen. They have some pretty weird ones. They also have a dill pickle that I really badly want to try. Oh, really? See, that doesn't sound as weird to me as Southern sounds... Biscuits and Gravy potato chips. No, dill pickle sounds delicious. Huh. Because I love pickles and potato chips. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that sounds more normal. This sounds just... Wacky. There's another one we're looking for, but they don't have it here. Yeah, it's made by Humpty Dumpty, and we saw it's like a holiday chip. It's and like a spiral ham dinner or something like that. Chip. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to look for that. Wait, now that I'm thinking about it, was it real or was that a joke? No, I think it was real. We must find this. We must find chip. this. Yes, this Humpty Dumpty chip. But in the meantime, uh, it's Southern Biscuits and Gravy Lays. Shannon's Taste Test video coming up next. What, Ellie? Can, toy? Can you get a toy? Yeah. Yes. One of these toys? Yeah. So guys, this has become a usual thing now. Every time we go to Walmart, Ellie discovered how much she loves these, you know, these little bubble, what do you even call these things? Like bubble toy vending machines? Because they all come in these plastic bubbles and Ellie loves this stuff. And the thing is, she can't really have any of the candy because they're like choking hazards, you know? It's like big gumballs. But every time we go to Walmart, I'm always grabbing quarters. And, uh, you know, I, if she's good, kind of have this thing, this incentive, like behave well and you can get like a little toy in the front. And, uh, I'm, you know, right now it's easy because it's a 50 cent toy. Um, it'll be harder if it ever does become a Nintendo Switch. Okay. So is that the one that we want? Hey, Ellie, is that the one you want to get? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Now we need some change. Hey Ellie, quarters. we have two quarters, so we got to put them in. <laughs> oh. We dropped it. Yeah. All right, take two. Good job, Ellie. It's kind of hard. You got to turn it the other way, like this. You want to put your hand underneath it and do the catching? What'd you get? Some sort of cool, fun, smiley face? Is it a ring? Um, I don't know. I think it's, it might be a ring. No, it's literally just a, like, foam oh. smiley face. They, I have to admit. 50 cents for a 50 cents. Time. These things got cheap ever since we were kids. Like, when we were kids, I don't know. I, I get, didn't really ever... Yeah. These were like, you used to get really cool stuff when I was a kid. Now it's like, you know, nice. here, have a pl cheap plastic ring. Uh, All right. Wasn't as bad as the stickers that we got that one time for 75 yeah. cents that didn't even stick. That's true. Three stickers. All right, guys, let's go. Here, Ellie, show everybody what you got. Um, Mommy's not happy. He's not happy? No. Let's see, show, show everybody. He's, um... Oh, he, maybe he looks more like he's smitten in love. He has hearts for eyes. And he's like, woo! So yeah, he's, he's, he's happy. He's in love. Anyway, 50 cents for that, guys. 50 cents. Okay, so we went to Walmart. So we've been to 
uh, Five Below, we've been to the Dollar Tree, and we've been to Walmart, and we've gotten everything we need for our Operation Christmas and Child Box. Plus. Yeah, well, actually, we may have to take some packaging apart and uh, and put it all together. Um, so um, now we're just grabbing a quick lunch break at Taco Bell, where we've been waiting for six months to pay and pick up our food. Yeah, it always takes forever. It always takes forever. I, I mean, is that Taco Bell in general, or is that just this I think particular it's the KFC one? KFC part. Elliot's singing. Uh, it's even spider in the back. Yeah, yeah, she loves singing in the back. So anyway, after this, we're gonna go home. We're gonna get one final look at all of the things that we're gonna be putting in this box, and we'll get one final look at this box, put it together, and then we're sending it off uh, to our Operation Christmas Child Child. Okay, so Shannon's getting some tape, and uh, we've got our, our pile of stuff on the floor. Now, guys, don't mind the house. The house looks awful right now. It's been a crazy week, but uh, who am I kidding? I mean, you guys have seen our house all messy before. So, and Ellie's getting into the tape. She's gonna go all Pee Wee Herman with it. Okay, so. Thank you, Teva, for your box. Yes, thank you. We got some. Oh yeah, we went over this uh, a while ago. We, we, whether they were Teva or Teva. Teva. They're Teva. So we've got Shannon's shoe box, and as Shannon said earlier, it's a good thing she's got big feet. Yeah, because bigger box. Bigger box. More toy. Yep. So we have. This is what we have to pack up. And if you look at what's on the floor, and then you look at this box, I'm a little worried that we may not be able to fit everything in it. Yeah, we probably. Don't. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh, Ellie, here, here, here. Oh, honey, no, you cannot. <laughs> Ellie, he keeps pulling up. our scotch tape out. Here. Okay, let's... Sorry. Let's, okay, it's all right. Okay, so we're... Ellie <laughs> just said, don't cut me either. Yeah, no, we won't be cutting Ellie. So um, we're wrapping the box first, and yeah. why are we doing this? I don't know, because they tell us to. Yeah. Oh, okay. We don't well, wrap you... it all the way up. We wrap it so it can still be open after it's wrapped. Gotcha. Because I don't know if they have to check what's in it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, because there's definitely like certain guidelines that you have to go by putting this together. They said like no liquids, creams, gels, anything like that. Nothing that resembles a gun. Or like Alright, so I am not great at wrapping, so this is gonna be interesting. I like wrapping. Shall I wrap? Would you like to? Sure, I'll do it. This is a, a challenging shape. Oh, it is a challenging shape. All right, so I have a challenge I mean, ahead of me. I don't mind doing it. I like it. I just All right. don't know how to wrap this particular item. Sure. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and see what we have. Let's put the whole tally together now and see right. how this stuff is actually going to fit into this little box. All right, so what do we have first, so Mommy? we have the Play-Doh Party Pack with 10 mini Play-Dohs. Totally cool, yeah, totally awesome. Colors. All right, so we've got assorted and color Play-Doh. To go with that, we got these dough shapers. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize we had those. Dog shorts. Nice. So what I'm thinking is if a lot of stuff doesn't fit, we can just break these up and put like half of mm -hmm. each or something. Okay. Hey, what else do we have, Ellie? What are those? Oh, no. Those are pencils. All right, we got some pencils. Awesome. What's that? Show daddy. A Tell him what it is. We have a yo-yo. Band-aid. A little mermaid yo-yo. And princess band-aids. All right. Fantastic. What are those? Show daddy. Crayons. Crayons. All right. What else are we putting in here? What is that? Some lacing shapes. Lacing shapes. Okay. This just kind of helps with like dexterity and yeah. all of that. Great for toddlers. Whoa! You and this now? is the Surprisanimals. Yes, that's what it was, the Surprisanimals. Anyway, it's a surprised little stuffed animal inside this. <laughs> you gotta tell Daddy what it is. Oh. Those stickers that we got earlier. Okay, stickers. And we found more stickers at the dollar store. Toothbrush. And Elmo toothbrush. Mm-hmm. What's that, Ellie? Tell Daddy what that is. It's a coloring and activity book. Yeah. And Block. blocks. Oh, what kind of blocks? Just, Just alphabet blocks. Okay. Alphabet um, blocks. Fun for stacking. Hopefully these go to a child in a country where our alphabet yeah. is relevant to them. I didn't think of that. I mean, I thought of it with a lot of things, but not until later. So. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That makes sense. Um, so anyway, 
And then what else we have? We have, oh. last but not least, the big one. Tell Daddy what that is. Ellie picked baby. this one out. A baby. Yeah, a baby. What's on her? We picked this up at Walmart. So, somehow, guys, we have to get all of that into yeah, this little up. box. Oh, I can't catch that purple ball. It's getting away. Oh! All right, so, uh, so Shannon's going to go ahead and try her gonna, best Tetris job here. We're going to figure out. The baby's going to go in last, I think, okay? Because we have a lot of things to fit in here. Let's go ahead and put that in. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have a lot of things to fit in, so we're going to try to slide them in, in later. Mm -hmm. okay? Wait, not yet. Not yet, my love. Oh, what were we going to put? Do like some yeah. pictures as well? Yeah. Yeah, we were going to have Ellie color a picture. And mm -hmm. I keep, keep sending them over here. And, um, yeah, maybe write a little letter to the girl. Thanks, babe. Yeah. Hold on one minute. Let me get that in next. This can go there. And then this can go here. And then the little box. Okay, wait, baby can't go in just yet. We're going to get all these in first. Get her up on my shoulder. Okay. <laughs> all right, can she fit in there now? Let's make sure we can close the thing. We might have to move some things for her head here. That is really tight. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can close the lid with the baby. Dun, da, da, da. Okay, ow. <laughs> that was my finger you pinched in there. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. We might have to move. How on. tight is it? Like, is it pretty? It's pretty tight, but I think if we take these out of the package, mm -hmm. or maybe these out of the package, it's pretty tight. Oh, good idea. And actually, can you open that up back for me? That, oh, bleh, I can't do it. I think maybe we should take this out of the package too. Can you open that? My legs are properly falling asleep and tingling. <laughs> I can't. You can't? No. Alright, let me see if I can open it. Oh man, it's hard to open. Okay, put the yo-yo in without the package. Let's see if that helps. Okay. Not yet, not yet, lovey. I'll tell you when it's time, okay? We have the most gun hole, gun ho child. Did you say gun hole? Gun hole. We have the most gun hole child. I don't know what a gun hole is, but we got one. All right, let's see how this works without that Play-Doh. Let's see where we're at. Okay, that's pretty good without the Play-Doh. So, maybe if we leave the baby in and we put all these around it. What do you think? Think that'll work? That's a pretty good idea, I think. Are those scissors around here? Um, behind your head. Ah. Right. These are my favorite scissors, by the way. Mm-hmm. These are my favorite scissors. Oh, yeah. I know. You do, you know? Yeah. They have a micro serrated blade. Can you say, Ellie, can you say micro serrated? No. Can you say Tim Holtz? No. No? No. Yeah. Thank you, Tim Holtz. For your great scissors that we will not let Ellie that, touch. That I've actually injured myself with. Okay, let's put these. Let's put them one at a time, in and we can slide them all around the baby. Whoops. Yep. Just slide them down in there. Okay. They're little tiny play-dohs. They are little tiny play-dohs. Aren't they fun? Those would be good for traveling, like for an airplane ride or something like that. Okay. And now we're going to put these all around the baby. You know, Ellie, the womb would have been way more exciting if you could have been packed in there with all this <laughs> stuff. That's hilarious. Okay, let's slide all these little toys that go with it in there. Oh, look, little tiny scissors for the Play-Doh. Nice baby. Hmm. And there it is, guys. We have our box. It is complete and ready. This baby has Please. got tons of toys on her, and she is ready to go to this two-year-old girl. Somewhere. Who knows what her name is? Who knows where she lives? But she's going to have a piece of our family with her this Christmas. So pretty awesome. Guys, thanks so much for watching this. If you want some more information about Operation Christmas Child, you can go to Samaritan's Purse. The website is right here, and it's also in the description down below. My voice is cracking. Did you hear that? Description <laughs> down below. I didn't even notice, actually. Really? really? That's probably because I do it all the time, and the Shannon, it's just like, whatever. Anyway, guys, yeah, so we'll put some information in the description down below, and also, again, the website. <laughs> right there and uh, yeah check them out there's is there a deadline 
Yeah, for this year, they actually have to be in this weekend. So if you're watching this video, so you typical, better hurry. In, in typical fashion for me, like last minute doing it. Okay. So anyway, guys, never but mind. Next year, there's always next year. Just because. Take this website out. Well, you can still get more information on the website. Put it back in. Shh. Anyway, so yeah. Um, go ahead, check it out, Operation Christmas Child, and at least maybe next year you'll be ready. You can do a bunch of shoeboxes. I think boxes. we plan on making it an annual family tradition. I think it's a good idea, and I think every year as Ellie gets older too, it'll be a little more fun, and as she understands more and more. But she had a pretty good grasp on it this year. You know, she was picking up little toys going, we can give this to the little girl. Yeah. I don't think she understood that we were mailing it though, because she really wanted to like, yeah, she give we it actually going to the girl. To see a little girl. Yeah, yeah, so anyway. But guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Now, um, this is where this video stops, but uh, we're still gonna keep the camera rolling for our next video, because as you guys saw when we were at Walmart, Shannon got the new Southern Biscuits and Gravy Lay's Chips just because you wanted to try. I'll be honest, you guys know me, I like doing challenges and I like doing all kinds of crazy stuff, but all I need to do is look at this bag and the gravy on the biscuits. I like biscuits and gravy, but in this bag, I gotta admit, this is probably where I draw the line. So this is gonna be, Shannon's gonna be doing the Lay's Southern Biscuits and Gravy. This might be a challenge video by the time it's done. But um, that's Not gonna be- whole bag. <laughs> that's gonna be coming out tomorrow. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, it's gonna be probably just a quick two minute Shannon's reaction to Southern Biscuits and Gravy Lay's Potato Chips. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to our channel. Comment down below and, a little dance just for fun. We'll see you next time.